Once you have this majestic, majestic view of God and His glory and His attributes that Isaiah had in Isaiah 6, then you also get this view of the enormity and the heinousness and the spiritual insanity, the dastardliness of sin. And once you have those two things in your soul, greatness of God, dastardliness of sin, and it drives you to the cross and you see the beauty and the glory and the all-sufficiency of Christ, you then have the three major ingredients that really motivate uh, the engine of what we call the fear of God. And all the, all the cars of your life will follow as, you, as that, those three things pull the train of your life so that every day of your life you're walking you're walking in the fear of God. You're, you're walking with a consciousness of what Christ has done for you, the greatness of God, the enormity of sin. Like B.B. Warfield said, you see the mighty footsteps of God everywhere. He said that's what a, a Reformed believer does. He sees God acting in everything. Everything that happens in his life, God is there. God is there. God is there. And that's motivated by those three things.